there are 300 heads of state and government here at the uh, Paris Peace Forum at the Parc de la Villette in Paris. I'm joined by one of them who is the president of North Macedonia, the Republic of North Macedonia, who is Stevo Penarovsky. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. Now, you have been calling for EU enlargement. Uh, North Macedonia would like to join the European Union. Emmanuel Macron has made it clear during uh, recent speeches that he's not really in favour of EU enlargement just for the moment, seeing the European Union more as a political, a strong political force more than a commercial force. Uh, how did your talks go with Emmanuel Macron this morning on that issue? In fact, excellent. We have a short but very dynamic talks this morning. And he was clear saying to me that he has never envisaged an alternative to full-fledged membership for the countries of the Western Balkans. So no alternatives, no only to be the part of the common market, but to be the part of the full, full, full part of the political institutions of Europe. And that is something for us, because we would like to be, for example, the part of the European economic area, or to be treated as neighbors of the European Union. We would like to be in, because we would like to accept and adopt the political values of the political Europe then we are not striving only for chasing the, well, chasing the profit or speaking about dividends. We would like to be part of political Europe, of united Europe, and that's meaning very much to our people. But you're optimistic that uh, you're on the right track? Uh, yes, because uh, President Macron assured me that now they are thinking about revising methodology for accession talks, that that was only a technical delay, delay on the part of the European Union. It has nothing to do with everything we have uh, delivered in the meantime. said, now we do need more time to reconsider the succession talks. And he announced that new methodology probably is going to be adopted by the next EU, EU Council meetings up to March next year. And even after that, we can expect decision, whatever it might be for the current candidates in Albania and North Macedonia. We are quite confident because we have, as I said, delivered everything being requested for, that the decision is going to be positive. But obviously, the decision is going to happen in 2020. You have overcome a huge disagreement with Greece over the name of Macedonia, uh, which became the Republic of North Macedonia earlier this year, uh, just after you took office. Uh, how do you think your experience in all of that can help contribute to some of the major issues that are being discussed here, as in resolving conflicts around the world? It is a fact that in the past two and a half years, the North Macedonia is the only country in the Western Balkan producing good news from this very turbulent region with a very turbulent history and a very un, uh, uh, with a future which is still not known to all of us. So uh, before Prespa agreement, we have concluded the agreement with the neighboring Bulgaria. And that was also a contribution to peace to the region and stability of the region. So Prespa agreement was a unique solution to the very unique diplomatic dispute. And uh, believe it or not, at the end of the process, we have changed the name of the country, which is now not applied only in the international fora, but in the domestic legal order as well. That was a very tough decision, but we know why we have dealt with that issue in such a way. We have changed the name in order to become the member of the European Union. That was the heavy price to be paid, but we would like to be in the European Union to have a certain future, to have more prosperity, to have higher standards of living, more investments, betterment of the lives of our, of our citizens, and so on and so forth. So, Alone, by only using the autonomous, the domestic resources, we cannot succeed. We need, I'm always saying that, a kind of external evaluator in the face of the European Union by the old and more mature democracies in a way to guide us into more uh, peaceful uh, waters and at the end of the day to say that yes, after so many years of being in transition, we are finally a stabilized democracy and we can offer better prospects for, for living to our citizens. And one final question about uh, conflict resolution around the world or what you've been through. Uh, one remembers back to the Balkan uh, wars of the 1990s. Um, what kind of help and advice can North Macedonia give to all the other countries around the world? I'm thinking about uh, the conflict, terrorism in, in uh, uh, North Africa, in the Middle East. Uh, what kind of role can you play? We cannot play a big role because we are a small country with limited resources. But as a, an example, a good example from this region, which is very uh, turbulent history, we can say a few things to other countries in our vicinity and wider on the continent and maybe on other continents. That is, to the political leaders, please do not think only about renewing your mandate and do not think only of fighting for power. They think about the future generations, think about Think strategically for the next 30 or 50 years what the life of your citizens look like for a few, few decades from now. 
That was the reason why PRESPA agreement was achieved, because two courageous leaders from Athens and from Skopje have not been thinking about staying in power endlessly, but have been thinking about the better prospects for living of their citizens and for the future generations. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed, President Penderowski.